Notebook LM just released a brand new update I wanted to show you in this video where you could actually interact with the podcast, have a live conversation with the podcasts that it generates. Let me show you how it works. I'll do this as a quick demo right now, then I'll show you how to do this completely from scratch, even if you haven't used Notebook LM before. But this is an AI generated podcast and it created this from this PDF book that I gave it. And it has this new option called interactive mode. If I jump into this mode, it's gonna take me to a different page. It's gonna ask to get access to my microphone, which I already gave it. And if I press play, I could actually join the conversation and ask questions from these podcasts. Let me show you how it works here. Hey everyone, ready to unlock some serious potential. I'm so excited for this deep dive. Me too. We're cracking open Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. A classic. It's almost a century old, but this, whoa, did someone just break the fourth wall? Let's hear it. Hey, just a quick question. If you had to just summarize this in one sentence, what, what would you say? Okay, that's a great question. Yeah, a one sentence summary, that's tough. But I think if we had to boil it down. It would be something like. Focus on making others feel valued and you will improve yourself. Yeah, it's really that outward focus for inward growth. Okay, now let's get back in. Okay, that's pretty crazy. And I have five practical use cases that I wanted to share with you. And we'll build a couple of these here from scratch. Okay, Notebook LM is from Google. If you haven't used it before, access it at notebook.google.com. And you could create notebooks and give your sources. I have different videos that are linked below, including one I just posted about 12 practical ways to use Notebook LM. I'll create a new notebook from here. And then it's gonna ask you to upload the sources. So for the very first practical example, I wanna show you for education or teaching someone anything. A lot of us do that even if you're not educators. If you are though, or if you know a teacher, send this to them. I think they're gonna find this really fascinating. I'm gonna upload a source. And in this case, I'm gonna upload a text document, which is gonna be an entire book. Google lets you upload books up to like 1500 pages as a source. And you could have 50 different sources across all kinds of different things. It could be pasted text, it could be websites and YouTube videos, anything from your Google Drive, Google Docs, or you could just upload any type of document like a PDF over here. Even audio files could be added as your source material here. Now for this purpose, there's a couple of different websites. One is called openlibrary.org. This one has all kinds of different open source type of a PDF book that you could download from here. So I've downloaded some, you could buy a PDF book obviously. There's this other website, gutenberg.org. This project also has access to 75,000 different free eBooks that you could get as text documents and use as your source here. And you'll see why this becomes really practical in the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna use this version of it that actually doesn't even need to be downloaded because they have this on a website. So I'm gonna copy this over. We'll add it as a website source here instead of a PDF document. Works exactly the same way. It uses this on the left side as a source. In the middle here, it's gonna give you a quick summary and you could have a conversation with it right here inside of the chat box. But for this video, I'm gonna focus on this option right here, which lets us generate an entire podcast between two people, which now you could actually interrupt and interact with, which I'm gonna show you here. So before I press generate, they also had this customize option. This works like a custom prompt that you could give it. So if you wanted to focus on something more specific, you could ask it to focus on something more specific. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and press generate right over here, and this is gonna create that audio podcast for us. Okay, after a couple minutes, I got a 15 minute, 47 second podcast here, and I could just go ahead and press play, but instead of doing that, let me go ahead and go to this interactive mode here. Now here, I could still play it. It would be the same kind of thing that you could do on the previous page, but now I could join the conversation. You have to press play first. So let me go ahead and press play. Welcome to another deep dive. Today we are going to be looking at A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I am really excited to dive into this one. There's just so much to unpack. It really is a masterpiece, isn't it? So many layers of history. Oh wait, someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hey, uh, I don't have 15 minutes right now. Can you give me like a 30 second summary of this book? Absolutely. Okay, let's unpack this real quick for you. In 30 seconds, that's a challenge, but we can do it. Okay, so A Tale of Two Cities, it's set during the French Revolution. It's a story about love, sacrifice, and social injustice. We follow a few key characters like Lucy Manette. Her father, Dr. Manette, was wrongly imprisoned for 18 years. Then there's Charles Darnay, a French aristocrat. And Sidney Carton, a lawyer who's in love with Lucy. The revolution brings chaos and violence. And the story explores... Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Awesome. Can you tell me more about the character, Mr. Laurie? 
Absolutely. Okay, let's unpack this a bit for you. Mr. Laurie is a fascinating character. He's not a main character, but so important. Yeah, he's like this steady presence throughout the whole story. We'll talk about him a lot today, actually. He's a man of business from Telfin's Bank. Very practical. Right, he's this very... Okay, I'll go ahead and pause this for now. When they're done answering your question, by the way, they just go back to the podcast that was originally created when I generated this. So that's really, really interesting, powerful stuff. And over here in the middle, by the way, you could see some follow-up question that it recommends over here based on the sources. So if you're not sure what to ask it and you don't want the text format, you could just take any of these prompts here and just say it out loud over here once you join this conversation. Okay, the next example I wanna show you is for content creation, and I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways you could share these two. You could actually make them publicly available too, which makes it super useful. So I recently published this video, 12 Notebook LM Use Cases. It's 60 minutes, right? Maybe you don't have the time to do it. So what you could do is you could just take this link right here from YouTube, and we're gonna create a podcast from this as the source, and then we're gonna go ahead and interrupt it and ask it very specific questions. So I'll create a new notebook. This time I'm gonna use a YouTube source and you could do this by the way with 50 different YouTube videos. Now while it's generating, I also mentioned a notebook LM course that I'm making that is almost done. I had to recreate some of the videos since they kinda of remade this interface a little bit different, but that is almost done. I have a wait list for that. There's almost a thousand people right now on that wait list. So I'll put a link in the description just the email opt-in, opt-in there, and I'll let you know as soon as it's released. Okay, we got ourselves a 13-minute podcast here, and I wanna show you a couple of these options that are available, which if you press these three dots, you could play this much faster, so you could get through it in 2x speed, you could download it, but this is really interesting. You could share it, and you could make this publicly available. If I make this publicly available, I could share this as a different link, Okay, this is what it looks like when you share it. Now, this is just gonna be the audio that is pre-generated. You can't join this just yet, but hopefully they roll that out. I think that'd be a great way to be able to share these and have people interact with them inside of their account too. Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Today, we are gonna be checking out Notebook All M. Notebook All M. Which is this new AI tool <laughs> from Google. That's it says it kind of funny. Let me join the conversation. Right. Um, that's designed to like help you interact with. Oh wait, someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hey, uh, how do I use a YouTube video as a source and how many YouTube videos can I use as a source when using Notebook LM? Hey, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, it's a really important part of using Notebook LM. So to use a YouTube video as a source, you just copy the video's link. Exactly, and then you paste it right into Notebook LM. Just like you would a website link. It's super easy and it works really well. And as for how many videos you can use, you can add up to 50 different sources in one notebook. That's right, so you can include. Okay, how great was that? That was accurate information. He answered both part of my questions. And you might have noticed a good amount of latency. I kept that in the edit here. So three seconds maybe it took from the time I asked the question to when I got a reply. So hopefully that gets improved with the flash version of Gemini. They're just updating Gemini all the time with newer, faster versions. So I'm sure that latency gap is gonna become much more like a real life conversation. Okay, I got a couple of business and marketing examples coming up, but right now, let me show you this for personal development. This is one of my favorite ways to use this and any type of AI tool that I've used the last two, three years. Basically, all you have to do is upload your sources. This one is a PDF that I bought a while back, How to Win Friends and Influence People. This is like a 90-year-old book. And let me show you a little quick overview of what I could do with this one for personal development. Hey everyone, ready to unlock some serious potential. I'm so excited for this deep dive. Me too. We're cracking open Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. A classic. Almost a century old, but this book yeah. is still so relevant today. It really is. Oh wait, someone wants to join. Hey, go for it. Hey, give me like the number one key point that this book tries to convey. Oh, that's a great question. Okay, let's unpack this. It's definitely a central idea, and I'm glad you asked. I'd say the number one key point is that self-improvement isn't actually about focusing on yourself. Exactly. Carnegie kind of flips the typical self-help narrative on its head. Right. The core message is that the key to unlocking your own potential is by becoming genuinely interested in others. And if you hover over this I, by the way, it tells you your voice and transcribed interactions with the host will not be in stored. So anything you're saying is not going in the source or anything like that. And you could share and download the original audio overview. And it's telling you this is in beta, so 
again, if it's not working for you, sometimes you have to press the play button a couple of times, sometimes you have to refresh it, and then you could join the conversation, but you always have to press play and then press join. If you press join, nothing happens right now. Okay, this next one is gonna be more for entrepreneurs, business owners, and really any corporation could use these type of techniques here. But what you could do is upload a source and use it for your employees to interact with. So for example, in this case, I'm gonna do an employee onboarding. I'm just gonna paste some text over here. This is just some stuff I got out of Gemini here about employee onboarding. And this is a made up company name, Innovative Tech Solutions Employee Onboarding. Let me generate the audio. And from our text here, we got a 12 minute podcast. I'm gonna go to interactive mode again. And let's listen in. Hey, everyone, and welcome to this deep dive. We're tackling something a little different today. Oh. Yeah, we're going to put you in the spotlight. Okay, I like where this is going. Okay, let me ask some questions here. So I'm going to ask it what our 401k policy is. The new recruit at a... Oh, hey, our listener wants to join in. What's up? What's, uh, what's our 401k policy exactly? Give me all the details about it. Okay, that's a great question. It looks like you're already thinking ahead. Yeah, let's unpack this because it's actually a pretty sweet deal. So according to the onboarding document, Innovate Tech offers a 401k with a company match. And here's where it gets really interesting. They'll match up to 5%. That means for every dollar you contribute, they'll add an additional 5% of that to your account, up to that limit. It's basically free money you can put towards retirement. It shows they're invested in your long-term well-being. Which is pretty... Okay, that's pretty cool. Maybe not as professional as we need it to be for like a corporate setting, but I could see as a small business, it's kind of like an interesting way to do this. You could obviously build chatbots that do the same kind of thing with one voice that does this for you. But I found this really fascinating with these type of corporate and small business solutions where you give it that resource and then you could turn that into an interactive podcast so people could ask a question, jump anywhere within that document. Now, this next one is my favorite way to use Notebook LM anyway, but now we have this live audio interaction that we could take advantage of. But with Notebook LM, I do a lot of market research. So this time I'm doing a law firm market research through my video production company we do corporate and commercials for law firms. So this gave it all kinds of different documents related to uh, websites I found that did market research. You could upload your own research, your own PDFs, YouTube links, whatever you want as the source. This time I did five different website sources. It created this audio overview. Now I could listen to it and I could ask it any questions where I wanna ask it to dive a little bit deeper here as long as the resources that I uploaded are relevant. Welcome to uh, our deep dive into the world of US law firms. We've got market research reports, industry analyses, and even a peek into what it's like to work in these firms today. So oh, wow. Yeah, so get ready to uncover the forces shaping this industry, its size, its growth, and yeah. some pretty interesting details about the firms themselves. It's a Oh, hey, I think our listeners got something to say. Uh, in the US, is there do you know the number of law firms that exist in the US? That's a great question, and it's a key piece of the puzzle. Yeah, it's a fundamental question. Let's unpack this. Our source materials don't give an exact number of firms, but the IBOS World Report does state there are about 431,000 businesses in the U.S. law firm industry. Okay, so that includes all the different offices, locations, and so on. Exactly. It's a huge number. And the report also points out that the industry is highly fragmented. Meaning there are a lot of small players, and no one firm really dominates. Precisely. Okay, I specifically asked it a question this time where the sources did not have that information. I was curious to see what direction it takes it. And he gave a very practical answer here. As you could see, it's still in that kind of podcast form. So it kind of sets things up with extra wording that you might not need or anything like that, but still an incredibly useful tool here for market research. I'm more like an audio and video learner. So I was using this with all the different ways you could ask it with chat here, but this option is just kind of fantastic. I'm really looking forward to diving in deeper and it's available right now. Right when I press publish on this video, I'm going to CES. So I'm gonna have all kinds of different updates and I'm gonna post a lot of those to Twitter. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, I'll put a link in the description too. So I'll put a ton of videos there, a ton of different updates. CES has obviously a lot of things in the world of AI coming out. So I'll make sure I update you throughout the week on that if you're interested in that. And I also made a video on a video version of this using HeyGen. HeyGen has a real-time interactive avatar you could build with your own sources, but it's in video instead of these audio podcasts. I'll link that over here if you wanna watch that next. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.